Okay, good evening everyone. So today's video is important for two reasons. One, we have upgraded the mic so that the background noise is not disturbing us when we are discussing important stuff in the session. So if you find any change in the voice or if you find it more better or not so better, do let me know in the comment section so that we can improve. Secondly, when we started this channel, it was started with a vision that we'll improve uh, together. We all will learn together. So we'll share with you what we know, what we are reading, what we are uh, uh, seeing in your day to day practice. And from your comments, your feedbacks, your questions, your uh, up updated guidelines update, we'll also get upgraded and will also be remain updated on the latest guidelines. So one such example came up in our video in which we discussed about how to do needle thoracostomy in a tension pneumothorax. In that video, we uh, told that needle thoracostomy should be done in the mid clavicular line in the second intercostal space. So Dr. Ayush on the channel updated us that in 2018 guidelines, there are some changes and the uh, site has been changed. So I will be explaining you, uh, showing you the uh, 2018 guidelines. But one very, very important thing is for pediatric population, the site still remains the same. Pedia for means for tension pneumothorax in pediatric population, still the site is, is uh, second intercostal space in the mid clavicle line. So let's see, this is, so I'm showing you two things. One is actually the ATLS manual and secondly is the um, highlights from the ATLS 10th edition. So you can see here, this is the ATLS 10th edition new insights in which if we go at the bottom, first we'll see the uh, pediatric one in pediatric section. Uh, this is pediatric trauma. In chapter 10, they have discussed pediatric trauma. In this, the recommendation for the site for needle decompression of the chest continues to be the second intercostal space mid clavicle line in this new edition. So it is very clear that for pediatric population, still site for tension pneumothorax is second intercostal space in the mid clavicle line. Now for adults in thoracic trauma, they have changed this. Now you, uh, here you can see that studies of pre-hospital and hospital provider have demonstrated that though landmarks can be appropriately recited, they are not always accurately identified. Cadaver studies have shown improved success in reaching the thoracic cavity when the fourth or fifth intercostal space mid axillary line is used instead of the second intercostal space mid clavicle line in others. So now the they have changed to mid uh, axillary line. So in the axilla, mid axillary line in the fourth or fifth intercostal space. So ATLS now recommend this location for needle decompression in adults. Now we'll see the actual manual. Here, this is the ATLS 10th edition. You can see chest wall thickness influences the likelihood of success with a needle decompression. Evidence suggests that five centimeter over the needle catheter will reach the pleural space 50% of the time, whereas eight centimeter over the needle catheter, which reach the pleural process, pleural space more than 90% of the time. So eight centimeter needle will reach 90% uh, of the time while there is a pectoralis major muscle. So five centimeter needle won't go at times. It, it, it is a little bit shorter. Also, recent evidence support that placing the large over the needle catheter at the fifth interspace slightly anterior to the mixed axillary line. This is the recent evidence. So now, it is recommended by the ATLS in 2018 uh, edition that for tension pneumothorax in adults, the site is changed from uh, mid clavicle line to slightly anterior to mid axillary line in the fourth and fifth intercostal space. Also, if none of if if it is needles are not available, you can do a finger decompression. Tension pneumothorax can be managed initially by rapidly applying the finger decompression technique. So. You can read more about this. The articles are available uh, on the net freely. Just Google it. But important point was that when we updated, uploaded the video, members like you, members like Dr. Ayush and all others uh, uh, send us comments for the uh, latest update. And this way, we all learn together. Your comments, feedbacks, uh, your uh, questions, all are helping us to learn um, together we are also learning you are also learning your comments the other members are also reading it 
so it's a good healthy interactive environment on the channel which is going up and recently we crossed 40000 subscribers thanks to each and every member of you remember esb icm is free for all the doctor nurses and paramedics so share this platform with your friends colleagues doctors nurses paramedics so that they can also learn and they can also benefit in their career and also to the patients to which they are serving thank you